I know. I feel like I should bless the food first or something. <laughs> God is great. God is good. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Thanks for the chicken. Thanks for the beef. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. What's up, world? We back with our guest, man, Chef Heartburn here. Everybody clap it up for the chef, man. He bought us some amazing food to try. I'm going to go ahead and let you introduce yourself and your product to the people, and then we get cracking like that, man. Go ahead. All right. Well, I'm known around town as uh, Chef Heartburn. i um, been a chef for about 17, 18 years. Ten of those have been in Austin, Texas. Um, you can uh, find me at events or on social media, kind of acting up a little bit and posting my food. But today I brought some uh, honey, oh, some hot honey lemon pepper wings and some smoked brisket stuffed jalapeno bacon wrapped, <laughs> bacon wrapped jalapenos <laughs> with a uh, bacon onion jam. Okay. okay. And then in the cups is some uh, basil mint lemonade. Okay. All right, you did your thing, Mark. Hey, okay. I'm not even mad at you, Chef. Let's go ahead and dig in. You want to go ahead and serve, oh, yeah, yeah, or we you. can grab it. You know, let's dig you. in. One and you know, how on the flex cast, ladies first. On always. the flex cast, we keep it real, man. If, if it's tasting funny, we gonna let you know. <laughs> you want more than one? No, yeah. I think I should start with one. You said yeah. spicy hot. It's it's I not super spicy. spicy, but it's okay. it's got a kick to it. Okay. I guess we about to find yeah. out. What made you just? What made you like rap? Like, cause brisket by itself is pretty good already. Mm-hmm. What made you go to extra step and be like, let's wrap it in bacon? I'm extra. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, like bacon wrap jalapenos has always so been like a, a good appetizer. So mm-hmm. like the adding a smoked brisket to it was just me putting a little twist on it. Had some extra brisket in the refrigerator. You asked oh, okay. me to bring some food and I was like, I got bacon, I got brisket, I got cheese. Let me just grab a couple jalapenos. We got some, so. Hey, let's all dig in, man. I want to get y'all's opinions on Chef. I'm always nervous about the spicy Y'all know I'm a wing person, man. It's not too spicy. Mm. Sweet and spicy. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing I peeped on the uh on Good the little menu. balance. Yeah, mm-hmm. perfectly balanced. Right. Yeah, I like. I definitely like spicy food, but I want to be able to still enjoy it. So, like, yeah, you a Buffalo Wild Wings fan? Yes. Okay. They mango habanero. Okay. That's like it's <laughs> right at that point where it's like, all right, I'm I'm still enjoying this, but if it's a little bit hotter than that, mm-mm, I wouldn't like it. Okay. It's hot, but it's enjoyable. I'm glad I took one of my good acid <laughs> reflex pills because yeah. I can feel it in my chest. <laughs> and it's not like it's not like firing the whole spicy. Mm-hmm. It's just zesty spicy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. What you think, Nubia? It's good. You it's like really it? Good, yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, man, I'm giving this two thumbs up. I, and this is like a no brainer for me. I've been to a lot of chefs' functions, and he never misses. Mm. Like people always be tearing through his food wherever he be at. So I wanted him to come to the flex class. We're gonna talk food. We're gonna talk food prices too. Okay. Huh. I, I know y'all have y'all like I do my own grocery shopping. Does everybody here do their own grocery <clears> shopping, <throat> or yes. do y'all do y'all get stuff delivered? How, how do y'all how y'all go about it? Um, most of the time when I'm shopping, I'm shopping for my clients. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I do like look at some prices. But today, the lady pointed at the eggs today, and it was six twenty-seven yep. for eighteen. Ooh. And I just looked at, it, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm the people I'm buying this for on a budget. They right. do, they they got a budget for this, so right. it it is what it is. But I'm sorry, they 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 high. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's almost like you got to borrow a food stamp card just to go to the grocery store. Listen, no. if anybody know where one at, let me know. Hey, I'm looking for food stamps too. <laughs> Listen, eggs, I is, got eggs is seven dollars. <laughs> if you got food stamps, hit the. I got no, the two for one for you. <laughs> <laughs> grocery shopping for me is hard because my husband's a bodybuilder, uh, so he oh, eats so you, completely oh, different protein. meals than what I eat, and he eats multiple times a day. So it's like and he weighs his food probably. So you got to buy by the by the pound. <laughs> he takes lead on the grocery shopping. I take lead on the, the drinks and the coupons. <laughs> yeah, I'm struggling right now, the lady. I just started talking to is uh, plant based, which I learned Ooh. basically means she still eats meat mm-hmm. sometimes, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. mostly vegetables. Mm-hmm. The problem is I never know 
when you want vegetables or meat. <laughs> but there's so many plants that taste like meat, right? Like a yes. jackfruit and all those other things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, I got some jackfruit in the fridge. Uh, I'm supposed to make her some jackfruit st- jackfruit stew when I get back to the house. So, oh, yeah. And okay. I'm pretty sure that's going to taste amazing. Mm-hmm. I'd be it's my first try. time making it, but like he said. You a chef. You got it. It's in you. It's in you, not on this, you, man. This is what I tell people. Like. I really just be throwing stuff in a pot mm. and telling people it's good, and they believe me. Hey. Like <laughs> Com- confidence. confidence goes. It's really like right. 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 if you don't believe in your product, who would? Yes, exactly. I agree. Mm-hmm. And I also think that, like, I mean, I, I would imagine that the increase in food pricing has affected your pricing for services. Yes. Um, how are people reacting to that? How's it going? Like, I think that um, the the type of part of the industry I'm in, the prices do affect, but if you calling me, you already calling me for a private dinner mm-hmm. for like 10 people. You already know you're about to spend 100 125 a person mm-hmm. anyways. Yeah. So it's not really affecting me. Like right. it, it affects my bottom line a little okay. bit more, okay. Okay. but like maybe some like restaurants where, with a restaurant, they buying food in anticipation for people to eat it. So sometimes they they might be they gotta raise their prices in order to be able to buy all that food, but then they also taking a risk that maybe everybody might not order all that steak they bought or eat all those ribs they bought. Whereas okay. for me, when I go to the store, I'm buying for exactly who gonna be there. Gotcha. Okay. So okay. It, it helps a little bit, but it, it's still pricey, yeah. you know. Like of course. a lot of things I've been looking at, and I'm like, man, like just going shopping for my clients. Mm-hmm. Last year, I can feed them for nine hundred a week. Now I'm looking up; it's twelve hundred thirteen. Sound like so, rent. Wow. Man. <laughs> sound, sound like rent. It's a week. <laughs> <laughs> sound like rent, man. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, I think that good work sells itself. Yeah, so people and are comfortable. People work. are comfortable. Yes. With, yeah, pe- people are comfortable with the price point when they know they're getting quality. You know, yeah, so absolutely. That yeah. Uh, that's something that I'm I'm sure of with you, man. Any function I've ever been to with Chef is the quality is always on point. Appreciate uh, that. We have some questions for you. We gonna run you through the gamut real quick. Oh, go, ahead, go ahead. Absolutely. Yeah. So you said you've been a chef for 17 years. You barely look over the age of 30. I'm 35. <laughs> almost old, almost, but if not took, quite there. If I took this hat off, you would, you would see. <laughs> I aged real quick. <laughs> well, 